Welcome to Yeshiva Dav, she responds to Olui Nishma, Sam Yaakov Shalom, Lea Basitzchok. We're holding in Bovetzi Edav Samech Aleph, where we're going to be starting this Dav, in the beginning of Perik Ezu Neshech, Samech Amut Beis, in the middle of the Amut. So this, the following Perik, Perik Ezu Neshech, speaks about mainly the halachos of Ribas. And as we're going to see Beis Hashem today's Dav, we're going to start seeing how chomer, how severe is the punishment of Ribas, and how, how much of a terrible thing it is. Let me mention something just as Agdama was brought down the Ramban and the Maharal expands upon it. The idea that Ribis is the antithesis of Achtos Eklaisro. The whole idea of Amisos is to be Amecho, to be one. And Ribis creates a separation because one is taking advantage of the other one. So Ribis is against the Achtos of Amiso. We'll see more about it as we go forward in the Beric. As we start the Beric, we do should know like this. Mainly, what we need to know for the beginning, for the first half. There is a Ribas de Raisa and there's a Ribas de Rabbana. Ribas de Raisa, let's take the, the classic case. Someone goes and lends money to somebody else, tells them you need to give me back the money plus interest. So I'm giving you now $100, you give it back to me in a month, $120. That's Ribas de Raisa. It's a loan, a loan with interest. That's the Ribas, which is also de Raisa. Ribas de Rabbana refers to cases which are more of, and usually, depending, we'll see many, many cases of their abundance, but one case, clearly, that we will see right away in the beginning of the parak is a ribas der abundance, which is a mekach umemkar, which means a buying and selling. A person buys and sells, meaning they're buying a certain amount, with an agreement that they're going to pay back the item with a higher worth. One of the cases we already mentioned earlier in the Masechto is seo beseo, meaning a person gives his friend a seo of uh, wheat, and the condition will give back the sale of wheat. The sale of wheat, when it starts at the beginning of the season, it's worth only $10. The sale of the wheat at the end of the season is $12. So you're increasing your, the value, even though it's the same amount. This is going to be one of the class, classic cases of, if it is ribis, it will be a ribis der abonum, as we will see. So, right away as we go in, we have a ribis der reiso, which is the halvo itself, and a ribis der abonum, which is usually make a homelkar, a way of buying and selling where a bonon or makarin said this will be a ribis as well. So let's start. Says the Mishnah, Ezu Neshech Ve'ezu Tarbis. What is a Neshech? What is Tarbis? Now, the, the Mishnah is focused on the Loshon. Neshech is Loshon Neshicha. Neshicha means biting. The, the lender is biting the borrower. He's taking away money from the borrower. What's Tarbis? Tarbis is the increase in the money of the lender. The lender has money, and he is marbe, Tarbis loshon, loshon ribui. He's adding to his net value, his net worth, by doing the ribis. So says the Mishnah, what is Nesha? What is Tarbis? Ezu Nesha. So says the Mishnah, the Mishnah, I'll give you an example. Nesha is a case. Hama Amelva Seo, Sela. Someone lends a Sela, which is four dinar. They ain't dinar, so you have to give it back five instead of four. Satayim chitim, two sales of wheat, v'shalish, for three sales. So here, even though it's an item, but it's two items for three. That's ribis. Also, b'rishu noishich. So he's biting. He's taking away from the borrower more than the borrower received. V'ezu tarbis. What does it mean, tarbis? Meaning that you're adding to, the lender's adding to his own value. Hamar bebe peris. He's adding more fruits. Keitza, what's the case? He took chitim for the value of dinars of dinars of a core. That's the value for every core dinars of. That is the worth of the shah. Dinars of is twenty five sela. So you have your dinars of twenty five sela. That's what is the shah. On du chitim belamid dinar. Now the wheat went up in value to be thirty. Now, as Rashi points out, Rashi learns that we talk about a case that he has the wheat. He has the wheat right now. And we'll see in the Gemara, if the wheat is there, he has the wheat, and, and that's the shah, that's the market value, that's the ribis. Because once you have the ribis, I'm giving you the loan, give you a wheat, for you to give me a wheat back, so as if he, the lender, already acquired the wheat in the hands of the borrower. There's no problem over here. So even though the wheat went up in value. Give me my wheat, because I want to sell them. I want to sell them for wine. He says, you know what? I need to give you wheat. But the wheat, I don't want to give you the wheat right now. I need it. You need it for the wine. How much is wheat worth right now? 
30. So you this, you have a right, you have a credit by me for 30. Take take the take wine for me for 30. The Yai name like it doesn't have wine. Add the Bach also. So we're gonna to get to the Gemara Beis Hashem in the next stuff. The Gemara is explain what exactly is the problem. But right away, as we start, what is the case that the Mishnah seems to be talking about? You have wheat. Reuven goes and gives Shimon wheat on the condition that Shimon gives back wheat, even though there's fluctuation in price. Not a problem because Shimon owns wheat according to Torah Rashi. So he's gonna say that Shimon does not have wheat, and that's why it's a problem to begin with. But let's go with Rashi right now. Reuven gave Shimon wheat. Shimon has wheat to give back. We're good. Problem is that Reuben comes to Shimon later and says, give me back my wheat. He said, I don't want to give you back the wheat. I will give you wine instead with the value of what the wheat is worth. And what the wheat is worth is more than he gave him. This is going to be a problem for Rebus, and the Gemara is going to explain why based on Shimon the next stuff. So the Gemara, I mean, the Shavit the Rebus, the Raiso, or the Karaflash, the Rabbana, we, the, the Mishnah, jumped to speak about Rebus, the Raiso, or the Rabbana, regarding Mecca Chumelka was giving wheat for wine, etc. And we left the Ribbis Deraisa, which you start with, which was a regular law. Michlau Deraisa, the Nesha Retarbis Chadamil say. The fact that we ask what is Nesha, what is Tarbis, what is Biting, what is Arba, what is Ribui, Master and Deraisa, there's no difference. The Akroi Ksibi, what says, I don't understand this, it's looking. Nesha Kesef, for Ribis Eichel. It says in the Pasuk, Nesha Kesef, and Ribis Eichel. Master, the Nesha and Ribis are not the same thing. So is there such a thing that you can have Nesha without Tarbis, Tarbis without Nesha? Again, Nesha means to bite where the borrower loses. And Tarbis is when the lender gains. So the more take Nesha without Tarbis, let's try to figure it out. Can we have a Nesha without Tarbis? He gave him 100 to pay back 120. Why? In the beginning, it's 100 for Danko. What is a danko? Rashi learns meyo kesef. So you have a hundred prutus and meyo kesef. So he has a problem with Rashi because we, as we learned earlier in the Masechto, the amount of prutus in a danko is 32. So why is someone saying you're a hundred? Just for an example, by the example, you're tripling what the worth of a danko is. So the Tais goes on to explain different values, different coins. But Rashi learns to talk about kesef. doesn't make a big enough camino in the understanding of the subject. So we talk about it he says, I have a hundred bedanko. Meaning he lend him a danko. According to Rashi, a mayor. The mayor is on the Prutus. Now, when he wants to give it back, there was a inflation, and a danko is on him 20 Prutus. You have biting. The kanoch is slain. He's biting who? The lender is biting the borrower. He's taking away from him. It's not taking him on the Prutus. He's taking on him 20 Prutus. The tarbis is like, but there's no tarbis. Why? The, the, the lender doesn't have any gain. Danko Oisve, the Danko He gave him a Danko, took it back a Danko. So in the big money, the big coins, he gave him a big coin, taking back a big coin, the same coin. But in the small money, the borrower had took a hundred and gave back on your twenty. Says the Gemara, safe safe. I don't understand the difference. If you go based on the original value, there was a hundred. Having Nesha, Harry Tarbis. You do have Nesha, you do have Tarbis. The lender is buying the bar by taking 120 more than he gave him 100. And the, and the, and the lender is getting more money than he got. He, he, got, he, he had 100, he gave 120. Who cares about the big coin? He bought some safe house, you go based on the end. Loy Nesha, he gave Tarbis Eko. Meaning, if you, what's the end? Based on just a push on the standing tomorrow, the end means once you exchange the 100 Brutus for the Danko. So in the end of the day, you take the the produce that you get, you take a hundred, you, you exchange it for, for a mall. Saying the mall was, I had a mall before, I have a mall now. So he, the lender didn't gain and the borrower didn't lose. The two, I wish I point out that what was in the habit in the Gemara, the habit in the Gemara was, then they maybe the borrower is more focused on small money and the lender on big money, but the Gemara does not like that. The two, another another question, let's get, see a case where the lender gains and the borrower does not lose. He does if mayo be meow. If you talk about that, he lend a hundred for a hundred. What's the case? Me korka in mayo be danko. Hundred for danko. Rashi here now says that the danko we talk about over here is a six, a six of a dinar. So you have a hundred and a six. Then it's a hundred by a fifth, right? So 
So the 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 big money changed. Beginning the big money was a six. Now the big money is a fifth. He gave him a six. Gave back a fifth. Right. So again, it says we're the same same question. Um. So again, if you make car kind of mail bedaka, beginning it's a six. But it's a mail bechush in a fifth. If you make car as you go based on the beginning, loy neshechi kol tarbis nikkud. There's no nesh and no tarbis because if you go based on the little money, it's the same amount, a hundred and a hundred. If you go based on the big money, hire nesh or tarbis. You have you gave the the lender had a six, he has a fifth now, so he got more, and the borrower lost a fifth and a six. So more it says there's no difference. You can't find the Torah just divided him just to say there's two lavim and every ribis. And two areas before we go on. Error number one is that Achronim tried to find is there no such thing as Neshech or Tarbis? One of the cases that Achronim discusses, is we're going to learn later in the Gemara. Let's say the lender tells the borrower. I want you, you can pay me back, do me a favor, and give $10 to my friend. The lender's not getting the $10. So, but the borrower is losing. So, isn't that Nesha without a tarvis? And there's other cases like this, just to point out that the Akhrayim tried to figure out and find these cases. Next, the Kudon, the more very important Kudon, is what's the Allah over here? So, we're showing you we have a big Makhlaikis, how do we pass it? Do we go based on the beginning? I mean, as the Gemara's have a based on the beginning? Or the word stays with a suffix. And the Akhrayim discusses the Machne Fraim in the Granat, and the Leila Akhrayim comes out from the Akhrayim. There is really a question. How do we look at a loan? And this goes to big Machlekes we're showing you. Machlekes the Rambam and the Ramban. How do we look at a loan? Do we look at the loan? The problem is the beginning, the Ketzitzo. Meaning, when a lender says to the borrower, I'm lending you 100, you have to give me 120. That moment that he said it in the beginning, that's the that's that's Kriveya, the loan. That's Kriveya, the Rebus. Or as the Rajwa explains it, the Rajwa says no. The loan is being the the Rebus is like a rent. You rent every day that you rent, you have to pay. Every day you're holding on to the loan, you're adding Rebus. But it's not the original original agreement. But it's the additional all the Rebus that was added up until you got to there. The Akhari want to say, maybe it depends on this. If you say it's based on the beginning, so you go based on the beginning point. If you say it's a continuous ribis, the ribis goes based on you go forward, so it's a different kind, a different type. Let's leave that as this is something to know. We'll get back to this in the later in the, in the parak. But this is one big mochlevis we're showing you over here. How do I treat the Isra of ribis? Says the Gemara, Tonarba. A cast of Titan of Benesha, of Marbis, or Titan of Hachel, that's a possible in Sayyid Vahikro. Don't give him, don't give him money. The Apostle Gideon, as Rashi points out later, look at the Apostle before, talk about a lender. Don't give the money to the borrower with Neshech, and the Tarbis don't give your food. In the Neshech Bekesef, so Neshech, we spoke about money. For Rebis Boich, the Quran Gemara says, meaning you have one law by, 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 by uh, uh, money and one law by food. Neshech Boich, how do you know the Abbas of Neshech Boich? Tomu Loimar, it's a Apostle in the Varim, Pashkitetze. Neshech oichel ribis. Sorry, I told you neshech oichel. It says the word neshech oichel. Here we're talking about the borrower, as we'll see in a moment. And it says there the words neshech oichel. So it says there neshech oichel has to do with food. So you see by food you also have neshech not only ribis. Ribis because of me now, you know ribis because of. Tomu loimar neshech kesef. In the same post of their in Dvar. What is, what's the drosha? So the Gemara explains. I'm going to talk about the Gemara explains. In the Pasuk the four Pasuk is Lusashik Lachicho, Neshech Kesev, Neshech Oichel, called Dabar Sheyishach. Don't give him anything. So the Pasuk concludes and says, Don't give him anything. So when you say in the beginning, Neshech Kesev, Neshech Oichel, that's extra. So first of all, the Gemara says, Neshech Kesev tell you even, I don't need the word because it says, Kol Vashat Tashich. So then, then, the Yubis Kesev teaches you, that there is an Isra rib is the other love of money as well. And the Ella Beloive, that's only borrow. Because the Pastor Kupashas Kiseitze is talking about the borrow and not to pay back. As we'll see soon in the Hemshech of the Amud, that the, the Isra of Alva is not only to the lender, it's to the borrower as well. How do I know that the lender also has Isra? In my Neshra Beloive, in my Neshra Beloive, it says the word Neshra by Beloive and by the Malve. My Neshra Beloive, the Chilakta, when Mikesa Ben Boichel, Ben Neshra, 
Remember, by the Levi, we learned all the different cases. Oichel, money, ribis, everything. Neshech. Neshech, amu ma'ave, loisach, lo'gwe m'kesa, ben boichel, ben neshech, ben ribis. And as the way Rashi learned the pshat is, because really it says, kol ha shetosh, by the Levi, so everything else is extra. You learn all the drushas you need to learn. Says the Gemara, v'nayin le'arab is called over. I don't know everything. That's a clear pasuk. Tomud lo'imai, neshech, kol dova, she yishoch. So if you learn that you have ribis in every single item. Now, Tysus here points out, Tysus wants to speak, um, the Tysus, when he goes on to speak about, about, about this Pasuk, he goes on to say that um, if it says cold over, why do you have to say the word Kesav and Eichel? Okay. So Tysus says that we have your cloud protocol that teaches you two things. Teach you that there's no ribis by Karka, and there's no ribis less than Shavu Pruto. Tysus learns with the Raisa, I don't have a ribis less than Shavu in this Kala Pratukla, and there's no ribis in Karkos. Now, the, this opens a very big discussion in the Rishonim regarding Paul Shavu Pruto, because the Ramah learns that there is a Yisrael of Raisa Paul Shavu Pruto. And then the Chayim discuss why does the Ramah argue? Does he hold that this is a Yisrael ribis even less than Shavu Or he holds, he agrees with Taisis, but he holds it's also with Nitzad Chatzishir. And this leads to the Machlekes and the Rishonim. Do is the what's the issue of ribis? As one is going to go on and build it soon, what is the issue of ribis? Is ribis an issue of stealing? You're stealing money is not yours, or it's another issue, not stealing. My of Camino will see in a moment. If Camino is going to be mechilo by stealing, if the person who's being stolen says I'm I'm mechil you, so it's machul. So if ribis is a type of stealing, maybe there's a place to have mechilo as we'll see soon. But if you all that stuff, a different thing. So then it's not the Mechilo. Or Balam, if you think about it, where is the halachas of ribis and Shulchan Aruch? The halachas of ribis are in the Yeridil, not in Choshu Mishpat. Choshu Mishpat is all the Dini Mominus. It seems that Shulchan Aruch learns that ribis is not a Dini Mominus. It's another Yisur. It's like the Yisurim. What's in Yeridil? In Yeridil you have Basar V'cholov. In Yeridil you have Taruvis, Yichus Nido, all Yisurim. Not Mominus. So it seems that Shulchan Aruch is naked, that Ilchus Ribis is an Isser, not Mitzah Dini Mominus of Gezel. It says the Gemara, Ravina Oma, lo yinesha bo yichel v'lo ribis because it's Ravina. I don't need a Pasuk for, by the mouth. Why? The cause of his Kaspach, lo yitita lo yinesha v'och l'cho b'marbis. It will tell you, don't give your money with Neshech, and don't give your food with Ribis. Get the garment. Then you have a problem. It sounds like the, that the food has Ribis, the money as the neshech, and not both lavi apply to both. But after the chetiv is kas pochalot itel noy ben neshech uve marbi zot itel nochlecho. So the, here you can put the kama in two different places. Kori beyachi, you can read like this: et kas pochalot itel noy ben neshech uve marbi. Put the kama. Don't give your money when neshech and marbi. That's when you put the kama after the word of marbi. Or you can put the kama before ben neshech uve marbi zot itel nochlecho. So if I'm able to read the pasuk two ways. It says the way the Porsche of the Porsche is the Kaspach of the Tullah bin Eshech, Kama. Uvi Mar Bizuti Tinech Lecho. But I can put the Kama in two different places. I can move the Kama, be after the Marbis, and read the Kaspach of the Tullah bin Eshech, Uvi Mar Bis, Kama. Or I can put the Kama before, Ben Eshech, Uvi Mar Bizuti Tinech Lecho. So then I do both. So here goes Lent to speak about when do we say this cloud or not. And basically, whenever we're able to do that, we do say this rule that we can move the Kama and use the words to both the beginning and to the end. Says more about Tanya. Say one second. The one who says this idea is Ravina. Ravina is an Amoyer. We just brought a brace. The brace is brought Exil Shav. Says the Gemara. Vatan Nema Nema Kom. It says it says Psukim is long Exil Shav. How can Kom? Ilu Loi Nema Koi Tiyom Exil Shav. Meaning, as we find many times in chess, if I would not have a pasuk, I would have Exil Shav. Actually, Shnei Nema Koi Exil Shav I don't really need Exil Shav. I want to tell you that the same by Loive, there's a problem with Alvoi, any item, money, food, or any other item as well. There's any place to Malve, that you have the Xerashava. But the actual food and, and the difference between food and, and money, that we have, we have both by the Malve. Omar Rabba says, Rabba Lamali, the Kosok Mona, Lab Ribis, Lab Gezel, Lab Boino. Why do you have to have a Lab in Ribis, Gezel, Inno? Srichi. Tikos Rachmona Labi Ribis, Mishum Nechitushu. 
It's a chiddush berius. Tafil beloy ve'osru achmona. Even the bar has an iser to pay back ribis. You can say, what does the bar the bar do anything wrong? It's a problem with the lender. The bar is participating in the iser. Because of one Allah begezim should the bal korchim. Gezel, someone comes and steals. He forces him. I know him. I know. I know. The buyer willingly paid. Because of one Allah by know, should the loy yodo the mochel. But you know, he doesn't know. Here clearly, more learns or know is only if the buyer does not know that there was something wrong that happened over here. Says more chadim echad loy yasa. Okay, so you don't want to learn one of the psalim from the other. Taste chadim echad. Do I need all three? She's have two. Hi, taste. So which one? Don't say rabbis. 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 Don't or it's a it's a gazel he's stealing, but I know it's regular buying and selling. El elus will look to him one of the because don't learn gazel, but they see me anoch. Learn from ribbis and I know to my part. We're gonna ask. Malu ribbis get a chiddush. There's a chiddush that the borrower also is high of. We know to chiyach. We know it's only the sell the one who's who's mispricing is high of. Malu no she can lo yodo machi. By 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 no it doesn't know so it's a mechilo. Ribbis to chiyach that what that there is no mechilo. The chazor adin. You don't learn, as we always say in, in throughout chess, you don't have the common denominator between the two. In all cases, he's taking money for him. So long, Gezel. You're right. Why do I have Gal the Gezel? For a different reason. For someone who doesn't pay a worker in debt. Says it clearly. Lavorla b'shtein lavim. To have two lavim. For lukmu, so why do you say we're talking about beribis very no? But lavorla b'shtein lavim. Why are you saying we're talking about schas tochir? Maybe we're talking about beribis very no. They should have two lavim. So the more dover I love in minyan, we talk about the same that we're talking there in the pesukim. So the more savachah of amud base who be minyan the sochik tiv. It says there minyan the sochik because it says lavda. It says loisashik loisigzor. But Rashi says eishek eishek is kishes schas tochir. So that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Now, two important areas over here. Number one is the Gemara says Ribis is no mechila. Mashpur, if there will be mechila, it will work. So this goes back to what I mentioned before. The Rambam brings the sheet of the Goyim. Everybody agrees. Let's start with that. Everybody agrees. You can't do mechila before the bar paid the loan. Meaning, Reuben lent to Shimon hundred dollars. Shimon says, "I'll pay you hundred twenty. Don't worry, I'm mechili." It doesn't work that way because the Torah says you can't pay. You can't pay that. So that's clear. But what happens if Shimon already paid the 120 to Reuven? He paid him. Now, Kos Bezin says, that's not right. Reuven, give back the $20 to Shimon. Shimon says, Amoichelen. Does the Mechila there work or not? The Ram brings the name of the guy named No. Mechila does not work. And the, and the Ram himself holds, it does work. Mechila is the Rishonim, brings the Mechila is the Rishonim, does it work or not? And the way that Rishonim learned in the Shaila is, what is Ribis? Is Ribis the union of Gezel, stealing? So before you give it, of course, the Torah says you can't do it. But once you gave it, now to give it back, it's a din of Gezel. Or we say it's a different Isra. It's not a Isra of Gezel. It's a Isra of Bama. The Torah says you can't have it. And that's the Chuy, the Mechlikas here between the Gordian and the Rambam. And a lot to be Marchiv on that. Um, okay, well, the Beseder. Says the Gemara. Lo yisignoi with the Kosovo Chamon Alamali. Now we have another issue, Lusik Noivu. Well, we have that. Kenatani Lusik Noivu, I'm not to make him. Don't even steal to annoy somebody. You're not really stealing him. You just want to upset him. We'll give it back to him. Lusik Noivu, at the shot, they should be careful. Or someone's stealing, you want to be careful. The Gemara in Bobasa brings the Eoiv used to do that for Yusayim. He used to steal in order to pay back more. But the push up shot is that was Eoiv. He wasn't a Yid, according to many of them on the Hombre. A Yid cannot do that. Only have Yemel Avashi Lav because of one of the Mishkoy Islam Ali. Why you have a Lav? Regarding weights to misrepresent the weights, Omalei letoyim mishkaloisu b'melach, putting his weights into salt. Now they do that. Hainu gezel, you're stealing. As the gezmelio, who lavor la mishas asio. Once you put the salt into the weight, it's already also. Torah bonus is the one loy sas to obel b'mishpot b'mido b'mishkol v'soyu. 
to talk about different measurements. The middle is the middle is the measuring a land. Shloim, don't lechod mei sacham, or lechod mei sakshomim. Don't measure for one. Rashi brings two brothers. One you measure in the summer where the measurement tape is dry, and one measure the, when the measurement tape is 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 wet and it's moist and it gets a little longer. So it's not the right measurement. Don't put the weights into salt and make it heavier. Mitzoy means that you come in and there is a the 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 uh, Rashi brings brings ashko means you're boiling, causing some fuzz being on the top, and then the the liquid looks looks to be more full. It's a very small measurement. One of thirty of a look. The Torah says, "Don't make a mistake over there." All the other measurements which are greater than this should be us. So this is very appropriate. This is the tough learning on Shvi Shal Pesach, and we talk about why it says it's trying mentioned by ribis mishkolos and by tzitzis. I was able to figure out who is a Pchor who is not. Now she explains, if you have 10 men that have a relation with one woman, how do you know who is the firstborn from the father's side? Because I know who's the father. Because says, I know. I'm going to come and, and I know to the future it's such a thing which is completely invisible, invisible, Coach, I'm going to know someone who says to everybody, oh, this is not my money. It's the money of a guy. And he gives it, he lends me ribbons because a guy can lend me ribbons, but really it's his own money. He puts the person, puts weights and salt, nobody knows the difference. He puts uh, a blue color on his baggage. For him, it's chelis. He says, it's chelis. He says, chelis. It's the chelis. It's coming out once every 70 years. He goes and says, that's the chelis. Interesting, Toysi says, even though it's oivil, it's a tzitzis, Still, you need you chayim shastliyah once he put the tzitzis on the bucket, and the chayim marry very much. What is what is trying to say? Many of the first want to say something in the in the direction that that the, the, it's not only he's not only ruining for his friend, he's ruining for himself. He's going around the kolil, he's ruining for himself. So he's saying, in addition to that, just putting it on there and maybe deceiving people ready from there, you Um now, set, now, just an interesting thing of Kivet, you're bringing something to be speaking about it, the Shom HaShom Nadaf. You see over here, Akashmoga did a check for who? The me, the Bchor Mina'av. That's why you need to differentiate. Bchor Mina'am, you know, what's a Bchor Mina'am? The firstborn from the mother's side. So, says Kivet, we know the Gemara in Bukhmova comment tells us that Ram Akashmoga came and says, you have to be in your house. Why? The Lord did a Mashkis. Don't let the Malachim, a Mashkis, to come and kill Amisho. So all the first you ask the question, what did the mashkit? It says, Aniv loy malach, aniv loy sarf, aniv loy shliach. Kshmoch will be chvay de ve'atz was the one killing. So the kumayega, that's only for the b'chor me'av. We need Kshmoch to differentiate who was the father. B'chor me'em, that the malachim do do. So Mili says, that's the reason that Am Yisrael, what's the kdushas b'chor by Am Yisrael? Only b'chor me'em, not b'chor me'av. Because b'chor me'av, Kshmoch himself did, to save Am Yisrael, there's not a big deal. But b'chor me'em, that it was the mashkit, Am Yisrael needed special protection. For that, we say, thank you, and we give the Bukhar to the Koyan. That's what Amisul was saved over there. That's a beautiful avert of Kivayakir. So, more Avino, he calls Sur de Pras. Omel of Khanim is Sur de Pras, or Avino. So, Khanim comes to the area of Sur de Pras. He makes of Khanino from that city. It's in Zion, the Kotzok Monica Bay Shotzim Lamali. Why does it say it says it's trying regarding Shotzim? Eating Shotzim and Vermosim. Omel of Makash Bukhar, do you shift Khadi with Tipa Shepchol, Tipa Shayna Shepchol? Same idea. I know who's the Bukhar, who's that. I'm going to be nifra, I'm going to punish the one who mixes up a fish tub with a fish tar. Just for that, that they don't become Tabi Shwatzim, they eat. That's already enough. That he did. Amisul came out of Mitzrayim just for the fact that they're pure and they don't eat Shwatzim or Mosim. Only Mrafish Agrag for me, Ribbis, Mitzim, Mishkolis is the reward greater than Ribbis, Mitzim, Mishkolis. Only Amgad, the Mrafish Agrag, even though the reward is not greater, it's more disgusting to eat it. 
And therefore, that's the mile, the big milo. I'm so out the out of the shvatzim. There's a beautiful noyim in the melech. The way the melech brings, the medrash says that they asked the kosh why did he create the shvatzim, and it seems like the medrash says they created the shvatzim for no reason. So says the way in the melech when the malachim said to kosh hello of the zohar, hello, why are you saving Yamisu? He says like the shvatzim. The same way the shvatzim were created for no reason, I'm saving Yamisu for no reason. Because I create things in the world for no reason. So that's how I'm not asking the Shabbat to elevate Am Yisrael because by the Shabbat. The Shabbat define the idea of Am Yisrael, a beautiful idea of the Noyam Elimel. Okay, because the two dots over here is starting now in the studio, we'll stop the dab over here, continue on in the next staff.